Hello everyone, my name is Yap. Hello everyone, my name is Hien. Hi guys, my name is Hien. Hi guys, my name is Mi. Hi, my name is Hong. Hello, my name is Yumi and we are Green Team and we are here to protect our environment. There's a sentence that goes, Nature will treat humans as humans treat nature, with the remarkable advancement and growth of human civilization in the modern era, with all life easier. But this development accidentally caused harm to our friends, nature and environment. And one of the most serious issues which the Earth has to suffer is global warming. Indeed, Humanity is on the verge of extinctions as a result of recent natural disasters such as droughts, floods, storms, forest fires, melting glaciers, and epidemics, which are enormous threats for humanity. Scientists collectively refer to the root of these issues as global warming. So, just what is global warming? Global warming is formally defined as a rise in Earth's temperature that persists for a decade or longer. Previously, due to natural causes such as change in Earth's orbit, change in ocean currents, this phenomenon only existed in a few regions and for a limited time. However, this phenomenon is growing more common and widespread around the world. Just because the weather is so hot that we cannot feel the cold wind now, and it is one of the expression of global warming. Now, I'm going to tell you about the reality of global warming today. The first and most superior expression is the temperature becoming higher and higher every year. As a result, seasons have changed. The summer is getting hotter and longer, while the winter comes much later and tends to be more soft. The second expression is the unusual occurrence of forest fire and storms with a higher heat base. The soil and trees dry faster, become the perfect fuel to start wildfire. Fluctuations in the number of storms and tropical dispersion are common. For example, one year we'll see 18 to 19 cyclones and tropical dispersion in the East Sea, but only 4 to 6 ones in another year. Finally, the year 2023 is said to be the hottest year in history. However, with the temperature still increase, we can expect this record to be broken almost every year. The first is generating power. Generating electricity and heat by burning fossil fuels cause a large chunk of global emissions. Most electricity is still generated by burning coal, oil or gas, which produces carbon dioxide, powerful greenhouse gases that blanket the earth and trap the sun's heat. The second is manufacturing goods. Manufacturing and industry produce emissions, mostly from burning fossil fuels to produce energy for making things like cement, electronic, and other goods. Mining and other industrial processes also release gases, as does the construction industry. And the third is cutting down forest. Cutting down forests to create farms or pastures, or for other reasons, causes emissions since trees, when they are cut, release the carbon they have been storing. Next, using transportation. Most cars, trucks, ships, and planes run on fossil fuels that make transportation a major contributor of greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide emissions. Powering buildings globally, residential and commercial buildings consume over half of all electricity as they continue to draw on coal, oil, and natural gas for heating and cooling. They emit significant quantities of greenhouse gas emissions. And finally, consuming too much, 
your home and use of power, how you move around, what you eat, and how much you throw away, all contribute to global warming. Global warming will certainly have a significant impact on water resources. High temperatures cause water to evaporate faster. If this situation persists, it will cause a shortage of clean water to serve people's production. And humans are victims of this phenomenon. Hot sun and not rain are perfect conditions for microorganisms and bacteria to grow. This directly threatens human health diseases a will increase with increasing danger. Not only humans or creatures in the world also have their habitat destroyed. Under global change, they must respond and adapt to increasingly harsh living conditions. In case they cannot adapt, they will rarely be wiped out. Rising temperatures cause slow and eye to melt faster. If this situation persists, it will increase sea levels, causing great floods. Now I know we are all concerned about climate change, especially global warming. So the question is, what are solutions for this problem, and how do we? begin the process of preserving global warming. As you know, there are so many solutions to this problem, but not everyone can do everything, and it's very difficult to live a life optimized for sustainability. Maybe driving a car or a motorbike is the only way you can get to work, or it's too difficult for you to lower your beating bill in the winter. And that's okay. The most important thing is that we all do the most we can to help save our Earth. First, you can walk or buy places, take public transportation, or if anything is of the accelerator, and make your car as efficient as possible. Use energy efficient light bulbs. LED light bulbs use only a fraction of power of incandescent light bulbs. Air dry door closes instead of using power gasoline machines like dryers. Turn off the electronics or lights when you are not using them. Eat less meat or no meat at all by replacing an omnivorous diet with a virgin diet. The average person can prevent the emissions of about 1.5 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere, reduce, reuse, and recycle, and of course, Spread your knowledge and concerns about climate change. Remember, global warming is very real and drastically affecting our planet Earth, our home. And although we are the problem, we also can be the solution. In short, all of us must realize the fact that our Earth is not well. It needs to treatment and we can have it healed. The present generation must take up the responsibility of stopping global warming in order to prevent the suffering of future generations. For instance, when you go shopping, carry the own glow bag. Another step you can take is to limit the use of electricity, which will prevent the release of carbon dioxide. Additionally, taking small but effective actions such as saving natural resources or using green means of transport can make the Earth a better place to live. On the government part, they must regulate industrial waste and ban them from emitting harmful gases in the air. Deforestation must be stopped immediately and planting of trees must be encouraged. The earth is a common home for all of us and because of this, great attention should be paid to environmental problems. Global warming can be stopped by a joint effort by the individuals and the government. Therefore, every little step, no matter how small, carries a lot of weight and requires significant in stopping global warming.